DSMS it's Tati and Anthony with your October 18th edition of DSMS TV News. Attention all DSMS dance goers. The a NJHS of DSMS will be selling refreshments at Friday's dance. We will have an assortment of candy, chips, as well as soda and cool drinks. Everything is $1. See you at the dance. Our NJHS October meeting will be held in C1 today from 2.50 to 3.45. We will discuss the dance and also give out information about our NJHS California trip. And now to the birthdays. Hey, do you some miss? It's Connor. And Jonah with their birthdays. Today's birthdays are... Landon Downward. Stefan Beagle. And Kathleen Kubik. Sorry if we pronounced any of your names wrong. Just forming a team for this year's Autism Walk. Here's a video with more information. Good morning, Desert Shadows. I'm here to talk to you about the Autism Walk. It is a community service opportunity coming up at the end of October. It is on Sunday, October 29th at Tempe Beach Park, and you can sign up to be part of our Desert Shadows team. If you attend the event, and you have to sign up online, if you attend the event on, again, it's Sunday, October 29th, you come out to Tempe Beach Park and you can um, receive three hours of community service for simply completing the walk. It is a 5K, which is about three miles. And if you attend the walk and raise money for our team, um, if you raise at least $150, you will get six hours of community service. And that will be created in the form of a certificate. And I will deliver that certificate to your social studies teacher. Um, upon completion of the walk. If you're interested in signing up to be part of our Desert Shadows team, we're usually the largest school team attending the event, you can go on to the Desert Shadows website or you can go on to my website. I'm Mrs. Hess. I'm in room E27 and right outside my door are some flyers about the walk and how to register and there's also some in the front office. It's free to register. You just sign up, you come on out and we the race starts at 9.30 a.m. And we walk together as a group, and we meet in front of the stage at Tempe Beach Park, and we start the walk together. I hope to see you guys out there, and thank you for supporting the great cause um, for the Autism Walk and SARC and the studies that they do to help um, those with autism. We will, we will rock you. Hey, it's Sarah with your sports. Co-ed and track and field begins on October 30th. All applications and fees are due on October 30th as well. And now to DSMS happenings. Are you videotaping us right this minute? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's fine. So what are we doing today? We're back. Homework Club is moving their club today to A7 instead of the Media Center. There's also Gaming Club in A5 and STEM Club in E29. Have you ever heard about the Red Ribbon Poetry Contest that Miss Chin and Miss Cursets are putting on this year? The Poetry Contest is a great opportunity to use your skills to create a poem that reflects the importance of staying drug free. Making the decision to stay drug free is an in investment in you and your future. Poems are due to our school counselors on or before October 31st. Prizes will be awarded for 4th, 2nd, and 3rd places. If you have any questions, see our counselors, your English teacher, or check out the flyers posted around school. Thank you for your participation. We have two special announcements from STUCO and CSO. Hey DSMS, it's Student Council. Come to the Halloween party this Friday, October 20th, after school from 2.45 to 4.15. The admission is $5 and NJHS will be selling snacks. Phones will be allowed and you will put your backpacks in your math teacher's classroom. We will dance to fun music and play awesome games and, have, and we will have a great time. We hope you can join us. Next week is Red Ribbon Week. Monday, wear red. Tuesday is Crazy Sock Day. Wednesday is Wear Slippers and Thursday is Crazy Hat Day. Have, Have a great day. day! This month, students are working on all types of things in their classes. This is just highlighting some of the classes involving STEM. 7th grade science just finished the science expo and the main highlight of this month is spooky science. In 8th grade science, students are learning Newton's laws and doing bottle rockets. 
In STEM Club, kids are continuing to explore engineering concepts and are looking forward to building hydraulic judo bots. Then, in computer science, students just finished building their HTML websites and are now starting to program drones. In engineering, 7th grade is working on building models in a three-dimensional program, and 8th grade is working on their robotics project. Lastly, the CSOs are working on going to the Capitol Summit and planning an astronomy night. That's all from the CSOs. Always question, always wonder. That's all we have for today. And remember to stay classy, DSMS.